Media Fusion Pro users get more options on the configure page. I'm going to walk you through them. As usual, you'd pick your streaming provider. Uh, there are some extra options here. When you use Realdebrid, you have content in your Realdebrid library. Enable the watch list and you'll get a catalog in Streamio's Discover page where you can see the last, I think, 10 items that have been added to your library. So you might add something using DMM and then open up Streamio and you can play what's immediately there. Download via browser gives you a button to click on uh, each new piece of media that will open in a neat little browser window and let you do a download with a nicely named and formatted file. The use case here is you want to travel, you have Streamio installed, but you want to download something for offline viewing in, say, VLC. You would use the download via browser option to streamline this process. You'd find the media in Streamio, quickly download it to your device and play it locally. This button here will only show you cached streams. If you're on a Debrid provider and you want stuff to just work all the time, turn this on and you won't see any content that has not yet been cached. It means you're not going to get that message saying, this content is not yet available, please try again. Let's talk catalogs. Some of these are straightforward and understandable. These are all catalogs that show up in your Streamio Discover page. Specifically, we have various regional content. We have sport. Live sport and live TV. These guys will probably need the media flow proxy add-on. Prowler Scrape Movies and Series is a special catalog built from recent searches. So when you search Streamio for content, if it's not already found in the database, then Media Fusion can use Prowler to search for that content. These are catalogs built from recent searches. Note that you can move these catalogs around to change the order in which they're displayed in Streamio. Normally you would want catalogs to be loaded in Streamio or, and you would want Media Fusion to provide backup IMDB metadata in case Cinemata doesn't respond in time. Parental guides. If you have kids who are using Streamio, they may be searching for things, they might not spell things correctly, you might want to say, never show me any content that might be inappropriate for my children. Whatever you select here will be filtered out of your content. So take note that by default, severe nudity and adult ratings from IMDb are filtered out. If you find you're not getting content that you expect, you want to come in here and disable these filters so that you get all content. Resolutions and quality are straightforward. You remove what you don't want to see. You can rearrange your sorting criteria. So you may care the most about resolution. That would be your top criteria. Or you may care the most about language. And that will go over there. Removing a language from the language filter will make sure you don't see any content matching this language. And unmatched content is classified as unknown. So if you filter out unknown and Metafusion doesn't know what content a particular piece of media is, it won't be shown. If you're missing something, come back in here, turn on all the languages, make sure that you see what you expected to see. Some people prefer, you may prefer your search results to show up in a certain you may prefer search results to be displayed a certain way you could either show the parse data your quality and resolution or you can just show the raw torrent name as scraped from the provider live search has nothing to do with live tv normally all your searches are fulfilled from a database that is already populated so searches are really quick but you may not find content that's just been released if you wanted to search in real time you would turn this option on it will make a search take longer and there are some parameters around avoiding abuse but you may find newer content if you turn on live search contribution streams are a unusual use case this would allow you to search for something and, and a link will be provided for you to upload a torrent for the thing that you searched for a lot of the live tv requires media flow proxy. When you turn this on, you'll enter your own media flow proxy URL and your API password. You can also get a media flow proxy bundled when you buy media fusion from elf hosted. You don't need to use the public IP address in most cases, but you do need to toggle these options here 
to tell Mediaflow to use the proxy to stream either your live streams, this is for DRM decoding, uh, and whether or not you want to proxy your debrid streams. Proxying debrid streams is super useful if you have multiple devices on Streamio, uh, potentially in multiple locations, and you don't want to trip over the one IP at a time rule and trigger a ban. When you turn this on, everything you stream through your debrid provider will be routed through the proxy. If you enable RPDB posters, then you'll need to put your API key in. You can get a free API key now, and you'll get a rating overlay on top of your media posters. And once again, click on install in Streamio, install the add-on, and you're done. If you want your own MediaFusion instance, on the main MediaFusion page, click on the link to Elf Hosted, and you can pick up a free trial for seven days. This instance includes your own API key, as well as an instance of media flow proxy so that you can do the multiple device debrid proxy streaming tricks.